Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Let's solve broken visual problem of object level security without using separate visuals or page navigations. If you are new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. Let's check it out. I have this column chart showing total sales and cost by month. And the requirement is to hide the cost information and show only total sales information for some of the users. It means I need to apply object level security in my cost column. But there is a very big problem in this solution, which everyone faces with object level security. We will solve that problem. First of all, create a role without any filter in your data. I can name it as not eligible to view cost info. Now to apply object level security, we will use tabular editor. So I will click on external tool and select tabular editor, which I have already installed. Here, I will drop down to my transactions table and then select this cost of goods sold column. So all the measures which are using this column for any calculations will be restricted. From the right section, if you will scroll down, you will see this category and object level security option. Further drop down to the object level security, you will see the role and the option for this is set to default. I will change this option from default to none. Then I can save the file and close tabular editor. Until then is all good, but let me now show you the problem with this approach. I will click on the modeling tab and then select view as option. Here I am going to test this role to find out the problem. As that you can see, this entire visual is showing error because it is using two measures. One is total sales and another is total cost. Now to hide this bad experience for the users who don't have access to cost information, we usually create separate visuals and then page navigation options. But this is not required at all. Let me show you the first step. Select new parameter option and create a field parameter. Here I will add both of my measures, which are total sales and total cost. Click on create. And now I am going to use this parameter instead of two different measures for total sales and total cost. For that I can select this newly created table and then drag the parameter option into Y axis of the visual. Now if I will test the role again for the cost slicer, I will see a blank visual instead of the error or a broken visual. But still this is not much convenient, though there is an object level security applied, I don't want to show this total cost option for the users who don't have access. Here in this Excel sheet, I have mentioned the field access for users, and users can only see the field names mentioned against their email ID. You can add users in this list based on the new requirements. Now I am going to use this table to tweak my data model to achieve the required functionality on top of object level security. I can maintain this table as access table. From the modeling tab, create a relationship between parameter table and this new access table. Since I want my access table to filter parameter table, change the single direction to bidirectional and apply a security filter for both the direction. Don't worry about this bidirectional filter. This will not create any ambiguity because they are disconnected from the actual model. Next is to click on Manage Role and create a dynamic RLS for field access. For that, I will apply a filter on email ID column of my access table. I can use user principal name function, which will detect the logged in user's email ID and will validate in my email column to filter. Let's again test the access for some of the users we mentioned in our access table and see if it is working as expected. So I am testing for user one who has only sales access. Select field access and then okay. As that you can see, this user can only see the total sales and even he doesn't as option to select total cost, which was showing a blank visual. This way, you don't need to create a separate visual or separate navigation page for different access level. Let's now test for a few other users and see if everyone mentioned in our access table has the required access. For example, user 7 has access to both the columns, he should see both the measures. Let's verify that. I will select the role and then enter user 7 at example.com. Click on OK, and you can see he has access to both the measures. We have assigned only cost access to user 5, and he should see only that information. We can verify that as well. And yes, our solution is working as expected. And this way we can utilize object level security with field parameter which will save your efforts and improve the performance of your report. 
because you are not using separate visuals or different page navigations. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more such interesting topics in Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.